Oh, <laughs> so this is my daughter, Eternity. Um, she turned 15 last November, and it's always been a desire of her heart to have a quinceanera, which um, if you can tell by this nice tan, my daughter is half Mexican. <laughs> so in the Hispanic culture, they have these wonderful traditional parties when the young ladies turn 15, and it was always a desire of her heart, and last year I just couldn't pull it off. I was super busy and just a lot of things going on. I said, okay, it's okay, you have a white mama. This is what we're gonna do. <laughs> we're gonna have a sweet 16, <laughs> and we're gonna do it quinceanera style. So we just began to, I said, we're going to trust the Lord for a word, and we're going to stand on his promises, and Nitty, it's going to be so supernatural. And so we just, the Lord gave me a word, we began to stand, and, and really last month we began to press in to see the miracles of God. God had given me a word, and Pastor had began to minister on, on heaps, um, and, and things just began to happen. And so we were looking at some venues, amazing venues, just some different things, and one of her best friends is now planning their quinceanera. And so she went with them um, to the dessert tasting. And, and um, a few days later, their par her parents told me that we want to take care of the dessert table, which is amazing. And wow. I really was standing in faith. And that's what I needed to just push me over the top. And so... Um, so I looked at Eternity. I said, we're going to go and we're going to book that venue. So we go, and I had a certain yes. price. I had a, a price in my head because I was looking online. I'm like, we're going to take this off, this off. I'm thinking, you know, five grand for everything. And so we go, and we're, we got a grand tour with marble, glittery floors and these beautiful pillars. And I look over at Eternity, and she's excited, you know. And um, uh, kind of backtracking a little bit, I, I, I – um, there were some things that happened in between the dessert table and, and the venue. And a few things had come in for the party. And then the same mom who told me we want to take care of the dessert table, when I was telling her about this venue, she came and she said, you know what? Originally, I wanted to take care of the choreographer. She said, but when I seen your daughter's face with that dessert table, she said, I have to pay for the dessert table too. So she said, I'm going to take care of the dessert table and the choreographer. And somebody else told me they wanted to take care of the ring and all these beautiful things. So we went to go take care of the venue. And I'm thinking five grand, you know. And I had, a, a, I think, 1800 to put down. And... Um, when I was there, the price was double. <laughs> they had a brand new venue. Some things had happened. And I'm looking at my daughter, and I said, oh, no, it's that face that they told me about that had them pay for the dessert table. And I said, okay, ma'am, this is what we're going to do. I said, I I'm going to be honest. I came in here with $5,000 faith, and now I, I said, give me two days. I'm going to step over into the gift of faith. We're going to work miracles. I said, I'll call you on Friday. So I went and I began to testify about all these things coming in and I was telling one of my friends and she said, what else do you still need? And, and you know, I laid some things and she's like, please let me take care of the dress. I really want to sew into my wedding up to a thousand dollars. So now the choreographer's paid for, the dessert table's paid for, the dress is paid for, the ring is paid for. And, and within, that was Wednesday up until Friday. By Friday, I had four grand to put down on this. So I had half. And the lady said, since you pay half, we're going to give you a 15% discount. And I'm, I'm going to cut it <laughs> short. But, but things just began to happen. And all in the month of March, right? So now we stand here, over half of the entire event is paid for. I have still seven and a half months to go. That's just one month of work and miracles. The other day we were in the lobby. Listen, I know you can say that you white, you Hispanic. Oh, no, I was I'm listening say, to you. This you, green, this green guy is not getting what are you left behind. About? <laughs> this green guy, I'm telling you, I'm stepping in my Hispanic half. We're running with the fire of God. Hallelujah. <laughs> the other day in the lobby and I said the dumbest thing, right? In the middle of all these miracles, Pastor Rodney and Adonica have really been, the last few months, been reminding us about how important yeah. it is, our confession yeah. and what's coming out of our mouth. And I was talking to Dr. Chris Ann and I said, you know what? It's kind of funny. I can either pay my car off or I can give my daughter a birthday party. And she said the sweetest thing and she said, well, you know where your daughter stands on the totem pole, which is so sweet and so true. But when I got home, the Lord began to really quicken me by the Holy Ghost and I just began to repent because I said, God, you set me free. You took me out of a lifestyle of poverty and sickness and sin. You saved me. You healed my heart. Hallelujah. And I don't think that you can take care of a stinking car payment and a birthday party. So I just began to repent before the Lord. And the next, I, it was a couple days or the next morning we came into work because I'm, um, 
um, the administrator of the university here, and we came into work, and somebody handed my daughter a fat envelope, right? And she brought it into the office, and she opened it, and we began to count, and it was another $1,000 towards her party. And then I've gotten cash apps that says for eternity's birthday party. People I didn't even tell we were having a birthday party. And so... I was just reminded, and Pastor said um, on Friday morning, he said, she, if, She's Hispanic. <laughs> I, I don't care what Pastor she said. said on Friday morning, if March was just the foundation Come of on. heaps, yes. how much more in the month of April? April? Glory to God. And so we've just been so encouraged because as much as I love my daughter and I want to bless her, there is a God who loves her more than I can even comprehend and is showing himself strong on her behalf. You know, I moved here eight years ago, and I knew that I had a call of God on my life, and I was doing amazing things. I was doing crusades and outreaches. I was on a radio show. I was in the corporate world. I was doing all these things, but I knew that there was more. I knew that God wanted Come to on. use me. So I came here to the River University, and I did three. Well, actually, I did four years because yes. we had church planning school. I needed an extra year. Hallelujah. It's okay. I had 12 sessions of healing school if you want to go there, too. I'm sure that the students are very thankful that I invested in myself so that I can be a blessing to them. But I knew there was a call on God on my life. And if you're watching today or if you're here and you say, I want to be used by God, I want to operate in signs and wonders and miracles, I want to see the blessing of God, you have to come now. You have to invest oh, in yourself yes. so that you can be a blessing. Do not hesitate. You know God is calling you. So today, go to riveruniversity.org and apply now because God wants to bless you. Yeah, and we're giving away scholarships, and we have a Spanish school as well, <laughs> and I'm going to sow $1,000 towards it as well. So. Yeah. So. We love you, and you are Hispanic. I don't care what you say. Amen. Amen. Amen.